Hey, what's up and how you doing? This is Dan from Cheap Living. It's been a while. Sorry, I've had a lot of things going on in my life. But uh, anyway, this is a short little video for you guys to show you how I make my herb butter. Now, uh, here you go. Now, you can make it with um, any of these three ingredients work great for herb butter. Uh, I highly recommend if you want to do like a spicy Cajun type of... Uh, herb butter to use this one and or the Kenders garlic and herb is very very good and of course the uh, Italian seasoning makes a very very simple herb butter but uh, I'm going to show you how I make mine so here we go so I got my food processor out here hopefully you guys can see this and I'm going to use one pound of uh, imperial Margarine. It's cheap. It used to be like 89 cents. Now I think it's like a buck 29 or something like that. So we're going to use a pound of this Imperial. I used to, used to use the Land O'Lakes, but Jesus, I mean, that's really shot up in price. And unfortunately, I can't afford it right now. So, uh,. I switched over to the Imperial for a while, which was 89 cents, and now it's up to a dollar something. Things are getting kind of expensive these days. So, you know, living on a budget and making your own stuff at home instead of buying it and paying an arm and a leg for it uh, is a much better deal. So, okay, so you got a pound of Imperial margarine. So, we're going to push that down in there, right? And then we're going to add our pound of butter. I had this in my refrigerator for a while. I used some of it the other night to make some uh, some eggs and some uh, some bagels and such. So you just want to plop this whole thing in here. It'll fit. I'm going to get butter all over my fingers. All right. All in there. All right. Give that a little stir in there. Push it down a little bit. you want to do you want to use some fresh chopped garlic I'm gonna be grabbing some more of this from uh, save a lot as soon as I get a chance like I said it's a uh, whole garlic clothes that I break down and I uh, put in the food processor add a little bit of oil to it and this is what you wind up with and like I said it'll keep for a very very long time in your refrigerator if you do it like that so Anyway, I'm going to take some garlic. That looks like about enough. Don't want it to be too overpowering. And then I'm going to take some of my herb blend that I use, that I make myself. I'm going to put a generous amount. Say about maybe three tablespoons or so. That's going to be really noisy. I have an old school, bought this thing at the uh, Salvation Army for like 10 bucks. I just want to mix it very, very well. I use unsalted butter. Reason being, because I like to add salt to my uh, my mixture. Unsalted butter is much better to use than salted butter anyway. Then it controls the amount of 
salt content you put in your food. So I highly recommend unsalted butter. Now I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. And last but not least, cracked pepper. And then you're going to give it a mix. One more time. container and put it in your refrigerator and this will last you a very very long time very super flavorful goes great with anything eggs steak I mean you can do anything with this this is uh, this is great stuff herb butter at home don't buy the expensive stuff at the store or anything like that so, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just a little short for you guys. Uh, I'm in the process of getting ready to uh, do my Coco Vin video for you guys. And have a good one. See you in the next one.